Hello, 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 my new human family. My name is Oracle Jessie, she, her, hers, and today I am here to give you a personal update. So, this update is relatively live. I'm gonna just post it and see what happens. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I made a video and Honestly, it's kind of felt good for me to just, <clears throat> excuse me, take a holiday for myself and step back and see what I feel like I want to do, what I, yeah, and live my life, basically. I think that it's fun to entertain the idea that my life has been so interesting that social media has taken a back seat and it really has and I really I really like it I honestly I like it um I've been hanging out with a bunch of really really cool people and have been getting some time to do a lot of reflection as far as myself, what I want to do, and the relationships and the types of relationships that I want to form and foster in 2020 and beyond, and right now, of course. Um, and there's been thinking of plans for RTR, there's been thinking of plans for after RTR, there's been, yeah, just plans being made for 2020 just in general, and yeah, I... I'm so excited to be able to continue to build in myself what I am wanting to fully manifest. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> I'm excited to bring it into my internal experience more and more and so just to know internally that the universe has my back and I've got everything that I need and I want for nothing like I made a Facebook post about that the other day like there is nothing I don't I don't need anything I don't need anything more. I don't need anything to change and it's perfect. And so when I'm in that state of perfection, that state of allowance, I know that all of these things are coming to me that I desire. And it's been a wonderful, beautiful journey just to see that within myself, even like the past week or so and see how much I have changed in the past week and in that growth and in that allowance and in the just relaxing into the knowledge that everything that I want is coming and it's so cool just to see and witness that this is me manifesting bedtime soon after <laughs> after the laundry gets done um but yeah so personal update i suppose time um i <sighs> Spent Christmas Eve at a party with friends. 
and that was wonderful and magical for a bunch of reasons. Um, yeah, I got to, I'm meeting new people almost every single day, almost every single day in my lovely community that I'm building for myself here. I'm realizing more and more of my tribe, more and more of the relationships that I want to cultivate for myself in the future and, um, and in the now. They're here and yeah, I was able to meet a bunch of lovely people at um, a friend's party on Christmas Eve, so that was fun, and then again on Christmas Day, continuing to foster some of those relationships at a different party. I kind of crashed a party, um, but that's okay. That's, that's all right. I really, I'm really glad for all of these experiences that I'm having and making for myself, and I'm really glad I went Christmas Day. Christmas Day, um, during the day I mostly worked and then I went to this restaurant that is, that a friend told me about uh, at the Christmas Eve party actually and he said that they would be open tomorrow at, on Christmas Day and they're all vegan and all gluten free and all um, made from scratch and just not processed food and so it sounds like it's right up my alley and guys literally I've been there every single day since then every single day and honestly it's really really affordable and um one of my friends said that you know they eat out all the time because at the caliber that they want to eat, the foods that they want to eat. It's not really affordable for one person to cook for themselves at home. And I definitely understand that. And I know I'm, you know, my home is much smaller than most normal people's, right? But um, I definitely understand that at $14 a meal, it's all vegan. It's all gluten-free. It's all made from scratch. It's all non-processed food it's all organic and it's so much love and life giving so I went there on Christmas day in the middle of my work day and I worked a lot I um the universe really took care of me that day and so I went to the restaurant and ran into my friend and they were kind enough to sit with me while I ate my meal and um, you know, I have no problem going to a restaurant by myself, um, as I'm sure a lot of us nomads do, but yeah, and so then we meet and met up again later at the party, and we were able to reconnect there at the party, so that was fun, and yeah, um, New Year's, I am getting to go to some place that I've been hearing about and seeing, you know, things on Facebook for the past year. Um, last year I didn't go to this party, but this year I went ahead and bought myself a ticket and have a bunch of friends going, so I'm really, really excited to see all my friends there and... Yeah, um, and even just, you know, we're just meeting people at dance, meeting people just uh, at the restaurant. <laughs> the restaurant is kind of like in a community center, so I'm meeting people there, and they're just coming up to me, and people are really, really friendly and don't even, don't even blink an eye at what I'm doing and what my end goal is so everybody here that I've met is really really supportive and really really um fostering I guess you know just really helpful in helping people be their best version of themselves and 
continue on in whatever their dreams are. So, yeah, I, it, I can't say enough of it. Um, so what I've been doing recently is trying to expand my experience and explore what my Austin experience means to me and what I want to do and what I want to get out of Austin itself. Um, Austin, Texas, for those of you who are just now following me, Austin, Texas. Um, and just what does it mean to me? What do I want out of this place? What, how can I best utilize the tools that I have here, utilize the network that I'm building and just, um, yeah, what, what do I want? Mainly just discovering what do I want and how, how to best define it and ask the universe for it because I'm learning to trust in the universe's timing for everything. Um, so yeah, I was just reflecting on these things with some friends and it's just really, really cool to see how the universe delivers. Um, and I just know that it's going to happen all in perfect timing, all in perfect timing. So yeah, I am definitely wanting to come back here after the event at the RTR. Of course, I said that last year and you guys know what happened. So um, <clears throat> I'm even considering going and doing limited time at the RTR or just limited time out in Arizona in general. Um, I have been feeling the past couple days that it's, it's time for a trip. It's time for a trip. Um, so when it actually comes time for me to leave, I will be ready to leave for a trip. Um, cause I, <laughs> you know, I'm getting that itch that nomad itch, I suppose, but, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to come back, and so many people have said that my gifts are needed here in Austin, and my gifts are really, really appreciated here in Austin, and I've definitely been feeling that. I've been, um, I did a reading for some beautiful soul today. I, did a painting for another beautiful soul in her healing space um, last week or something like that. And I plan on doing at least one more painting before I leave. And who knows how many readings, how many more readings. But um, yeah, there's plenty of events here that I want to get into. There's plenty of continual growth, um, communication. Uh, compassionate communication rather and um, just authentic relating stuff that I might want to do um, yeah there's so much that Austin has to offer me and I feel like I have to offer for Austin's community and it's been cool to reflect on that so There's that. I'm not sure what else I really wanted to talk about. I don't think... I don't think I had anything else. Yeah, I just... I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be in this space, literally doing the things, and I am so taken care of by the universe. I am, all of my needs are being met. I'm, I don't have, I don't want for anything. There's, yeah. Yeah, 
and I've spent some time even out of my vehicle recently. And so it's just kind of funny to... to come back and be back in my vehicle and be like, ooh, this is my home, you know? Um, so that was just nice. I never, I never really thought that I would miss sleeping in my vehicle. I'm doing laundry right now, but this is, this is my bed. This is where, this right here is where my pillows would go. That's my pillows right there. But my feet, <laughs> my feet go in the trunk and I never knew that I wouldn't miss it. Um, but I did apparently. The one night that I wasn't here. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so looking forward to 2020. Um, it is the universal year for, like I've been saying, but it's also the, um, the two, it makes a master number of 22. So, um, partnerships, duality, just appreciating the full spectrum of things and you know once we know what is un what it is that we do not want we also know then what is wanted and yeah it's beautiful and amazing and i'm so stoked so excited to be on this journey, to be here, to get to go to this party for New Year's, get to meet new people, get to expand my painting practice. I am so stoked. So, some of the things that you all can expect from me in the coming year is hopefully more, um, more lessons and dedicated, like, lecture things, like courses, um, free courses, and, um, some more painting, hopefully, and, uh, maybe occasionally I'll do a reading, um, but we'll just see what happens. Um, I am still working on, um, the taroscopes for 2020. They will get done in perfect timing. I'm allowing the universe to take care of the timing. So, uh, yeah, they'll get done as as soon as I can get them out. They will definitely be done by mid-January, hopefully before I go to the event. That's the next uh, goal I have. And there we go. Um, apparently that's probably our signal for time. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I really appreciate all of your support, all of it, all of the support and all of the love. I am definitely feeling it. I am definitely feeling the love from the universe. I posted on Facebook the other day, I just want to bottle this feeling up and give it to everyone and just hand it out for free. I, I can, this... This feeling of feeling so connected and being so loved and held and seen and witnessed by the universe. I appreciate it so much. And that is what I am feeling most of the time. And that is where the magic is. That really is where the magic is and I think that is part of what deepens contrast I think for me is I've felt this feeling before and so anything less is really not satisfying and so just, I feel like I needed this reminder to 
be able to come back to myself, to come back to this and have this state of bliss, this state of happiness, this state of mindfulness and satisfaction be my set point. And that's why I want to come back here after the RTR. Um, so that I can foster this feeling and I can foster the relationships that help to give me this feeling um, externally and within myself. Within myself, most important um, because our outside world is just a reflection, a looking glass to our inside world. And so I am so excited to continue to do my inner work that Austin is helping me reflect on and helping me to do. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of other stuff that goes into that, like, health-wise, um, too. Yeah, just body health-wise. Like, not only am I dancing twice a week but I'm also swimming a good majority of the days and eating healthy and there's just so much to explore here in Austin that would be able to help me yeah so much stuff so much stuff so much love I love each and every one of you There's no better feeling of being filled with love so much and knowing at the same time that there's a deeper love out there and you are working your way towards it. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. So I am going to hop off here. My laundry is going to be done here soonish. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for being here. Feel free to leave a comment or question in the um, comments down below. Really appreciate your love and support. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Happy New Year. Hasta la bye bye.